that's more like it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. <laughs> that's just the level of ghetto I was going for. My name's Big Mike Esser. I'm a culinary trained chef whose last name literally translates ear. I'm on a mission to shine a spotlight on the killer food being put out by some of the baddest restaurants on the block. This is Big Mike Certified. Gassed up, glassed up, had it up, ready to go. Today I am heading out to have a suit. I got three spots I'm looking to record today. And you might see them individually, you might see them as one big food tour. I don't know. Guess you have to stick around to find out. Today I'm in Lake Havasu to do one of my first ever Havasu food reviews and I decided I'm gonna come to Ohana and check out their ultimate cheeseburger. Wait, they don't sell cheeseburger? My bad, my bad. I'm over here at Ohana to check out their gangster pizza. Oh, they don't sell pizza either. Well then what do they sell? Ohana. Oh, they serve poke bowls. Let's go get a poke bowl. Come on, Big Mike. So what you're looking at here is the poke bowl and the ramen. And I wanted to try some Bundaberg, but the ramen here, this is a mix. We got some sprouts, some onion. I got octopus as my protein, mixed in with that ramen, a little bit of ginger and carrot. And then over here in our poke bowl, we got the ahi tuna, the salmon, some ginger, some wasabi, white rice. They gave us some onion and garlic crisps, some sesame seed, and then a little drizzle of a couple of different sauces. There is a little bit of pineapple and mango in there. Whew. Almost feel like Maybe that's a good compromise for the glasses. I think we start, I think we start with the ramen. This delicious looking, let me get a sip of this. Very savory, nice flavors. I am very curious about that octopus as my protein choice. They had chicken, they had tofu, they had all that normal stuff, but you know as soon as they said you could get octopus, <laughs> I'm like, give me some of that octopus. 
All right, now, I'm not sure the lighting on this bad boy is going to work that great because Lake Havasu don't play with the sun. Let's try some of that octopus. Chewy. Like you'd expect. But it's a cool texture and it's got a cool flavor. It's very spicy. And that might just be some of the add-ins on top, but that is a nice, a nice fresh bowl of ramen. The octopus isn't all just tentacles. It's also just some nice chunks in there is whatever and whatnot. Let me get one more good bite of this one. Carrots, a little pinch of that protein. That's what my soul's been looking for. Bowl of ramen like that. One more sip. Look at all this goodness. Look at that. That's some delicious salmon. This is the tuna. Look at that salmon. I know the light may, might be a little extra harsh on it, but just wanted to kind of scratch through this bowl a little bit, kind of show you what's what. I think I've danced around this table trying to find the right light enough. I'm taking it to the car. All right, so it is what it is. I wanted to sit out and enjoy it. And I think if I wasn't filming, the, uh, the sun probably wouldn't be bothering me as much. And it would be what it would be. But they do got some nice outdoor tables for you. But I need to get up in here. I need to get up in here. You know what I'm saying? And be able to taste what I'm tasting without thinking about anything but this. So let me dig in here. Grab some of this. Ahi. Poke bowl is traditionally raw, chopped up, mostly salmon, tuna, things like that. But you can get it with cooked shrimps and whatever and whatnot. You ain't locked in to getting it with the raw. Being a sushi fan, let's try some of that ahi. Mmm, like sashimi, you know what I'm saying? This is just really just like a cool bowl of sashimi, but poke meaning chopped up, kind of giving you a, like a deconstructed sushi, something that I've always recognized as being Islander based, Pacific Islander based, Hawaii. Another cool thing that's in here is there's some spicy crab. I, it really is like your favorite sushi, just broken up into its elements because the spicy tuna, the spicy crab, the ahi, the salmon, you know, even the little avocado that they kind of, you know, give you a little clump of when you when you want that. And then all those good like oyster sauces and things like that that they sprinkle on top is exactly what you would get if they would have just rolled it up in some nori, you know what I mean? A little sheet of seaweed. So much so that I even have the wasabi and the ginger on my plate here. I can actually put like a little bite together. Mm. And that wasabi ponzu that they've got is just delicious. I love me a good ponzu sauce. And so that day, one of those sprinkles that they did on top, those drizzles, was a wasabi ponzu. Whew. And as I'm digging, as I'm digging deeper, you really start to see some of them colors and those almost like watermelon cubed slices of that meat just kind of kind of just up in there ready for you ready for you to attack i really don't need to go any further this right here is good the ramen mm. so savory so fresh this is a good combination right here if this place was closer to where I live, they'd have to give me a loyalty card and be punching the heck out of that sucker. Because, mm. And I also like the fact that you, you get to dictate what is and what isn't in your dish. And you could come in 50 different times and never order the same dish. But you could very much so be playing with your flavors and your palate in a way that just says fun to me. And if you ain't heard it once, you're going to hear it again. That's what this is all about. All right, family. Ohana, have a sue. I'm going to use my plates 
this place is a hit. Definitely a hit. I know it looks a little crazy now that I've stirred it all up, but that's when the flavors really start doing their thing. Just saying. All right, family, thanks for liking and subscribing and sharing my videos. It does mean the world to me. And do me a quick favor. After you do them things you do with them buttons down below, go find a reason for you to have a little extra fun today. Wait for it, because you deserve it. It's Big Mike Certified. We out. Peace. I think one of the coolest things in this bowl over here, aside from that ahi tuna and that delicious fresh salmon, these little, I believe they're Peruvian poppin' peppers. So nice. It's almost like a pepper and a tomato on a small scale with a little bit of, like a little tomato creaminess to it. I did pick up this Bundaberg ginger beer, Australian family owned, craft brewed over three days. And it says invert bottle before opening. So invert the bottle before opening. The what, you open it like this? No. Nah. They must just want you to mix it up without shaking it up because it is carbonated so we did it and then look at this cool top it's kind of got its own little own little thing so it's almost like an old-fashioned can pool top but it's on top of a bottle let's see what we got here let's see if we don't make a mess in my car Ooh, okay just popped off right okay let's see what this ginger beer doing it just smells like a straight ginger shot with a little bit of sweetness to it. That's good. It's not too gingery. It's not like straight up like a, like a ginger shot. If you juice some ginger and you shoot it, it kind of like hits you like pepper. Mm. That's a good palate cleanser. I've liked everything that I pulled out of that building today. That, that's a winner. But now I gotta go. I gotta go. You know why? Because I got two more places I'm hitting up today. They do offer Dole Whips as well. Just saying. It's already been demolished before I took a picture of it, but this is like a raspberry pineapple Dole Whip. Mmm. After that sun kicking my butt for a few minutes and a little bit of the heat in my dishes, this really does kind of finish off the experience. Mm. Ohana.